Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Karen McAfee. And I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your KWHS News. Juniors, if you are interested in the cosmetology program and would like to sign up, please see Ms. Christensen in the Counseling Center for an application, but do it quickly as the deadline is tomorrow. Seniors, the Science Department is offering a scholarship and applications are now available. See a science teacher or check in with Ms. Steckler, the Science Secretary, for an application. The deadline to apply is next Monday, April 29th. Attention National Honor Society seniors, if you are interested in applying for the NHS scholarship, please check Google Classroom to complete the scholarship application. The deadline is April 28th. Seniors, your days here at WHS are numbered. Pencil these important events on your calendar so you can be prepared for the tornado called May and graduation. Senior finals start on Monday, May 13th with periods 5, 6, and 7. It is a full day schedule. Tuesday, May 14th, you'll take finals for periods 1 through 4, then lunch, and then check out during 5th hour. You can leave campus after you complete your checkout. Get those conditions cleared early to avoid this long line. Wednesday, May 15th is Senior Awards Night at 6 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. Thursday, May 16th is the Senior Breakfast at the Cheyenne Mountain Resort. Buy your tickets in the business office until May 10th. Tickets are $22 each and will not be available at the door. May 17th is your grad walk. Meet in the Counseling Center at 10 a.m. to participate in the grad walk at Widefield Elementary. Otherwise, you must be here at noon in Bowers Gym for graduation practice. Saturday is your big day. Meet in the small gym at 7.30 and seniors, graduation day is not the day to be fashionably late. Graduation starts at 9 a.m. and you must be ready to go before then. Underclassmen, we'll have a final exam schedule for you when it is published, but for now, mark your calendars for exams on May 20th through the 22nd. In fact, if you need some support studying for those exams, remember to sign up in the library for a tutoring appointment with an NHS member. Those appointments are on Thursdays during advisory until finals week. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors, if you'd like to take the ASVAB test tomorrow, sign up in the Counseling Center. Seats are limited and, and spaces are filling up quickly. The test will be tomorrow in labs 153 and 154, first thing in the morning. And now we're throwing it to Hannah Hall for a Gladiator Sports update. Hannah? Sports time! Good morning, Glads. I'm Hannah Hall, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Happy Administrative Professionals Day. When you see our building secretaries, please thank them for all the work they do. From answering the front doorbell to answering phones, artfully handling disgruntled parents and students, skillfully making copies, ordering materials for the teachers on the fly, guiding visitors and students down the right paths, and helping our administrators run this flagship. Our secretaries are the heart of our school. Thank you for all you do to make WHS run smoothly. We appreciate you. Glad some of you are taking the five Ds of dodgeball, dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge to heart because only four teams have signed up for the tournament. You know you have the skills, so put your money where your mouth is and play the game. Today is the last day to sign up your team. See Ms. Melton in room 103. The cost is only $5 and those games start on Monday. Guys and gals from all grade levels, the WHS Color Guard tryouts continue today and tomorrow from 3.30 to 5 p.m. in Bowers Gym. You don't have to have prior experience to try out. You just need to be ready to learn something new. Come dressed in workout clothes on tryout days. Flags will be provided. In tennis news, our ladies are in fuego and keep racking up the wins. They played a rescheduled game in some soggy weather on Monday against the Harrison Panthers and cranked in the win of 7-0. It's easy to see why these girls run the court. Way to go, ladies. Catch the girls outside on Thursday afternoon at home against the Sierra Stallions. Our Grizzly Eater team jumped into the pool on Monday afternoon against the Palmer Terrors, but despite their very best efforts, lost a super close meet with the score of 97-83. to The boys did set 11 PRs and will be back at it on Friday and Saturday for the Trojan Invite at Fountain Fort Carson. Please join them if you can. In baseball news, our boys traveled up to Woodland Park on Monday to take on the Panthers, but the thin air and cold temps were not a good combo for our gods, and they took a loss of 12 to 2. Heads up, fellas. Come out and rally our boys to a win this afternoon at 4 p.m. on Big Blue for Senior Night. Join seniors Trevor Blackwell, James Eltagante, Axel Jensen, Cameron Lucas, Hunter Marks, and Joe Rubrick in celebrating their last home game of their high school careers against the Elizabeth Cardinals. Turning to ladies' soccer news, our ladies hosted the Mitchell Marauders yesterday and posted another W into the record. That's what I'm talking about. 
The ladies are traveling to the Purple School tomorrow for a game at 4 p.m. Go out and support the ladies as they tackle the rival school. In track and field news, our gladiator teams are pulling away from the competition. They are at Gary Berry Stadium for the Cougar invite on Friday at 10 a.m. So while some of us get to sleep in, our glads will be at work representing our school. Can I get a what what? What what? <laughs> glads, Cinco de Mayo is getting close and so is the Pops in the Park concert. Stop by Paiute Park on Sunday, May 5th from 1 to 3 to hear the award-winning talented musicians from our WHS band programs. And to add to the festivities, the Spro Mariachi Band will also provide some traditional tunes. Joining our band students, Quincy Brown, a percussionist from the Air Force Academy Band, will be joining the crew. Come enjoy some terrific tunes, tasty tacos, and totally tubular treats from Kona Eyes. See you there. Remember, gods, the Powder Puff game has been rescheduled for next Wednesday, May 1st. The time has also changed. The game will begin at 3.30 and the tailgate will start at 4 p.m. Come and cheer on your favorite girls team. That's all we have for you today. We won't be back until next Wednesday with results and scores. I'm Hannah Hall. Now back to the news desk with Corinne and Kieran. Thanks for that update, Hannah. Glad's registration for summer credit recovery classes is going on right now, and the deadline to sign up is May 30th. The summer session starts on June 3rd and runs until July 28th with the orientation on June 3rd in the WHS Computer Lab. Check the district website to register or see your counselor. Our FBLA team is at the state leadership competition this week. <coughs> Best of luck to Mariah Boudreaux, James George, Mackenzie Heedle, and Destiny Hernandez. Listen to the PA announcements with Mr. Shoup for their results. And now we're checking in with Miss Betsy to see what she's got cooking for us today and tomorrow. Take it away, Seth. Boy, what for lunch? I'm hungry. Happy Wednesday. Did you miss me? Yeah. Hey, I'm back. What's for lunch? Ah, uh, we're having homemade pizza homemade today. Homemade pizza, and it's oh, it's homemade. Homemade. Homemade pizza. pizza. Mm, I like and tomorrow the menu says that we're having the uh, Philly steak, but we're going to have Philly meatball cheese. subs instead, okay? Meatball? Just a meatball? No, a, a meatball. sub. Just a sub. Meatball on a plate. Yeah, meatball on a plate. Meatball on a plate? With a roll. No, with bread. With bread. Meatball subs. Meatball, meatball, subs. meatball subs. Yep, that's the one we're having. Thanks, there. and have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, remember to pay your outstanding lunch charges in the cafeteria or online and stay off of conditions. You can check Infinite Campus for those outstanding conditions and then get those cleared as soon as possible. Remember everyone, but especially seniors, waiting until the last minute to clear conditions means your summer starts without you. Seniors, you must have your conditions cleared before graduation, so get started now. Red Cross members, you will have a meeting today at lunch in room 109. See Miss Shepard for the details if you are not able to attend. Hey Glads, the High School Art Showcase is now hanging at the UMB Bank at 502 Security Boulevard. The opening reception is not until next Wednesday from 5.30 to 7.30. But you can check out the artwork now during business hours. April is National Month of the Military Child, and today is a designated day to recognize and honor the sacrifices our military families make in support of their active duty members locally and overseas. We wear purple to show our support, not for one branch of service, but for all. GLADS, if you are the child of a military member, active, reserve, or retired, please stand up and be recognized. Give them a round of applause. Thank you for your strength and sacrifice. Describe your perfect date. That's a tough one. <laughs> I'd have to say April 25th, because it's not too hot, not too cold. All you need is a light jacket. Since tomorrow is the perfect date, we're celebrating by wearing white for the WSD3 Day Without Hate. Remember to stop by the small gym at lunch tomorrow and get your Day Without Hate wristbands. And remember to do what is right, not what is easy, not just tomorrow, but every day. Later in the evening on Thursday, it's Cabaret Night in the WHS Cafeteria at 6 p.m. The cost is $3 for students and $5 for adults. And refreshments will be available for a small cost. So bring some extra cash and enjoy the show. If you'd rather get your geek on, why not check out the senior PLTW projects and activities in the auditorium at 6 p.m. Those students have been hard at work getting their products ready to share. After supporting these two events, seniors join your classmates for the senior sunset service at Barnstormers Park from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Spend one last night with your pals from the class of 2019 playing games, listening listening to music, and enjoying some camp coffee. Since we're not in school on Friday, you can stay out as late as you want and not worry about sleeping through first period on Friday. Oh, before we go, we do have some new music for you that we bumped from Monday. But here's Moose with his choices for the week. Take it away, Moose. Good morning, Glads, and welcome back to My Music Minute. 
The first song on our list today is going to be Counterfeit by Jordan Fisher. Baby, this Monday real. You can put it to the light. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Baby, I want to see. And for our number two spot, we have Waiting For You by Unlike Pluto. And to close out today, we have Stolen Moments by Cautious Clay. I wanna watch movies, I don't wanna tell you that I love you. Cause I think that loneliness would serve us well. That's it for me today, Glads. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks, Moose. Those rock. And finally, seniors, remember next week on Wednesday, May 1st, graduation becomes a little more real at lunch when you pick up your caps and gowns. Be sure to bring your ID. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm Corinne McAfee. Remember, we don't have school on Friday. And I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this was your KWHS News. Enjoy your April Day!